What is up guys, Bearded Gent here with Let's Be Blunt Gaming, bringing you our blunt impressions of Zombie Vikings. This game just came out on Xbox One, February 22nd, 2017. It was been released now on PlayStation 4 and PC for a little bit. Uh, the developer, Zoink Games, was kind enough to give us a review copy for this game. And the price that this game releases at is $11.99. So... If this game looks kind of somewhat familiar artistically for you, that is because these devs also created Stick It To The Man, which if you guys have not played that game, I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, it's fun, humor's great, and this game really borrows from like that style of humor and the art style, and it does it very well. Uh, these devs pull this off very nicely. <clears throat> One thing that this game, personally, I think was a brilliant move is it has online and offline multiplayer. For what it is, it's a co-op story brawler, one to four people, and for that to have online multiplayer is huge in my opinion. Most of these are just offline and a lot of the gameplay potential gets lost because not all of us can couch co-op anymore. I mean, I have my wife to do it with, but then, you know, you don't see that four player like potential in games. And this game actually, <laughs> if you're uh, if you're playing the uh, co-op, which you can play it single player as well if you don't want to, but if you're playing the co-op, you can uh, like make different forms of the creatures and stuff. It's pretty cool. So you have four different Vikings you can choose from, as you see here. We're scrolling through them. They each have different abilities and do different things. And like I said, you can Let's use the this. other Vikings. Like you can pick them up with B and like impale them on your sword, which is pretty hilarious because they just like ram it in their butt real quick. And this game does take place um, in kind of a twisted version of Norse mythology, which I I love Viking mythology, always have. I have a tattoo sleeve of it, and it's I like seeing a different take on it, like this this cartoony, but it's like I almost want to say perverted, but it's <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word for it, but it's uh, it's interesting. So the controls are. Uh, pretty standard you move with your left stick the right stick is actually a dodge um, A is your jump X is an attack uh, you can hold it down for a charge attack as well and then Y is uh, like a secondary uh, special attack and then R1 is a block and B is um <coughs> what is it? oh you pick up people <laughs> but um, honestly this game, I was kind of worried when I started playing it and I saw that the depth, the game depth, wasn't just straight, it wasn't linear. You can actually go um, in and out. And that tends to worry me in games like this because then at that point targeting other objects and uh, enemy types becomes harder. It's, it's hard to judge where they are in the, like, the playing field and where you are, so a lot of attacks miss. But what this game did, and it was a brilliant move also, is if they, if you pretty much face them and you're turned in their direction and you're somewhat close to where they are, you'll hit them. You don't have to be 100% accurate with, uh, with, you know, being in front of them or behind them or whatever. And I, I really appreciate that they did that. Did I tell you I turned 10 days old last hour? As you, as you can see here too, uh, here's a little bit more of the dialogue. I was skipping some of the story earlier for you guys because I didn't want to ruin that. I watched through it myself, um, but it's pretty entertaining. This is the very first level, um, but as you can see, the conversations are just ridiculous. They're great. And uh, we get into the combat here. You can turn off the uh, numbers that I have showing up when I hit these dudes. Um, I just personally, I love seeing the like, damage. Multiplier, multipliers and stuff, so I just leave it on. Um, there are supposedly 25 uh, plus levels in eight different worlds in this game, and there are uh, five different versus areas, so you can do some versus stuff um, if you so choose. And like I did say, this is online, uh, so do not get, you know, don't be like me and just assume because it's a, uh, a brawler that it's going to be offline. It's online, which is awesome. And uh, there are unlockable weapons and uh, different runes as you progress too. Um, you can get some new ones. 
how you can buy them in the store and stuff, like uh, spending in-game currency to get new, uh, new abilities, I guess. The ruins give you some new abilities. The swords just give you, like, more power and everything. But um, if... See, I'm only playing this single player right now. I'll probably co-op it with my wife later, and then I'll try some online as well. I plan on streaming this game February 23rd at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time over on our stream channel. Uh, Let's be blunt gaming. It's uh, on Beam, so make sure you stop by if you want to see some more gameplay of this. But I'm gonna try the online then. Um, and like I said, if you get more people in here, you can kind of you can pick them up with the B button and form like mega uh, versions of the zombie Vikings. And like I guess if you lose your head and stuff too, like your head can attack. There's actually a video at the beginning as well, like, from the main menu, um, which is kind of a making of video, and I thought it was pretty cool. I, uh, I watched it a little bit before the stream. I didn't have time to finish it, but I'm gonna go back and finish it later. I, I enjoy watching those. Um, they're really entertaining for me. And I like seeing how uh, games like this are made. And there are um, bosses in this as well. Um, you will not see me get to one in this uh, video. The levels are actually pretty, uh, pretty uh, decently length, which is a good thing. I liked it, but I just wanted to do a, kind of a quick look at this for you guys, so that you can kind of get an idea of what the game's about. Combat handles smoothly, like I said. Um, for being a brawler, it's more in depth than most of them. What happened to you? And they did oh, a lot of no things that I wish deal. a lot of other brawlers the would do. Stole my body. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging know. out. Uh, this is the Let's Be Blunt Gaming's YouTube you channel. Sure we do also have a Beam channel and a uh, Twitter. Like Make sure you give us some follows. We do some cool giveaways glory. and stuff. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging things. out. This is I could teach you Zombie Vikings. And it's brought to you by Zoink Games. Uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. It seems really fun. And if you like brawlers, I think this will be a good one for you. It was way more chill back then. <laughs>